Okay, so in this video, we are going to install Voyager, but just before we do that, let's go ahead and create a swap file. That way, in case of our RAM on the server runs out, we would still have some buffer. At the moment, we have two gigabytes of memory and zero swap. Okay, so in order to create a swap file, what we need to do is run the following command. sudo f allocate and then the size of the file, I'll put one gigabyte and then the path to the file, just slash swap file. If you check the file, you'll be able to see that the system allocated one gigabyte of disk space for that file. So let's go ahead and secure the file. Just run sudo chmod 600 and then again slash swap file. Okay, and one more thing that we need to do is actually format the file. Just run sudo mkswap and then again the path to the file, which is just slash swap file. Then let's run swap on and then the name of the file so that we could kind of activate the swap. After that, if you run free hyphen m again, you'll be able to see that we now have one gigabyte of swap as well. To make this change persistent, we need to edit our fstab file. So first, just make a backup by copying the current fstab to a file called fstab.backup. Then run sudo nano etc fstab so that we could edit the file. And at the bottom of the file, just add the following. Slash swap file, then none, then swap, then space sw, then space zero, and then another space and another zero. Save that. That way now, if you reboot your server, your change will be persisted. Okay, and now the next thing that we can go ahead and do is actually install Voyager. If we head over to our browser and then Google install Voyager, the first thing that we would get is the Voyager documentation. Voyager has an awesome documentation that I encourage you to check out. The first command that we need to run is just composer require tcg slash voyager. Hit enter. This might take a while, so I'll just speed up the process. Okay, then let's see what else do we need to do. They are asking us to configure our database, but we have already done that. And after that, we need to run this artisan install Voyager command. I would choose the one with the dummy data. Just copy it and paste it into my terminal. And as quickly as that, Voyager has been installed. Then the default username and password are admin at admin.com and the password is just password. Okay, so if we grab our IP, then go to our IP slash admin, we're getting to the Voyager login screen. And here we can log in with the default credentials. As quickly as that, we now have a fully functional admin panel where we could do a lot of things like create posts, many users. We have a nice dashboard. We can even manage our database, like create new tables, add new columns, and a lot more. And this is going to be pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we're going to find an HTML template, which we would use for our Laravel blog. I hope you find this useful. And if so, just make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the next video. Thank you, and I'll see you next.